Guys, really quick. Have you ever wanted a web swing? God only knows how many times I'd be at the top of a skyscraper just wanting to free fall and then swing out at the last minute. Unfortunately, we can't do that. One, we would turn into street pizza. And two, you can't web swing. To be able to live that fantasy we've all had when we saw Spider-Man first swing on the big screen is still sought after. It's a thrill that is totally incomparable to flying. And honestly, it's kind of cooler. The only way to truly live out this fantasy is through video games. <laughs> In the realm of video games, you could be a master assassin, a space marine, a superhero. We're able to live out dreams we're only lucky enough to have. Thankfully, we're in luck. Spider-Man is in a ton of video games. Across so many platforms, if you want to try out web swinging, there's so many ways to go about doing it. And what better way to come up with this list than Tear Maker? As we talk about the times that we could swing as our favorite wall crawler, we're going to be ranking them as well. I mean, what else was I going to do today? Something productive? And how these are going to be ranked is the quality of the web swinging. I don't care about the story in the games. I don't care about the combat. I don't care about the graphics. Just the web swinging. Pure and simple. We also gotta take into consideration the platform that these games are on, when they were released, yada yada yada. And we're only gonna be talking about free roam games. As much as I would love to talk about Ultimate Alliance 3 or Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem, no matter how awesome they are, there isn't any real free roaming here. I know Total Mayhem has like these free roam segments where you can kind of web swing, but those are more quick time events than anything and they don't really count here. Oh, and we're gonna be talking about these games within release order. It just makes it a lot easier for me. So yeah, with all that being said, Let's swing into this. But before we do that, dudes and dudettes, be sure to click that like and subscribe button down below. And let me know down in the comments what's some other content you want to see from me. I know I said I don't typically do like unboxings, but for my next video, I'm going to unbox the wireless controllers by Nixie. Nixie? Is that what it says? I think it's Nixie. I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, I'll be taking an unboxing of these and play them for a few hours, show you the setup. And if you want to see that, hit subscribe and click that notification bell. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the web swinging. This was the real first free roam game that we had for Spidey. Yeah, it's more linear than the sandbox that we're used to, but the way you could traverse through the rooftops at that time was incredible. I've played that first level countless times just because it was the only Spider-Man game out there where you could do this. Of course, I was risking disc rot for my own joy. This completely opened the doors for what we have now, and its impact for the culture is still seen to this day. I found this game at a used game store for 60 damn dollars. 60 damn dollars! I didn't buy it, don't worry. I'm not that stupid with my money it's cool but also you can only get two web swings at a time it was great for when it was released but it's still limiting they ain't that good you do too much you're not superman you know so this is a step above of what we originally got this title is based off the toby Maguire movie so don't get it confused with the other games just named spider-man the first movie tie-in had a swinging that was just a more improved version of the N64 and PS1 games. You're essentially flying, but you could swing as long as you want. You also have this meter on the corner of your screen where you could see how high up you are, and I always really liked this. I would always try to swing as high and as low as I possibly could, and just make it my own sandbox. Even by today's standards, it's decent, it's not breaking the mold, but you could definitely have some fun with this. It's pretty good. This game just broke the mold. It didn't just break the mold. It demolished it, recycled it, purposed it into a new mold, and burned it alive in front of its children. And I do not like it. I get what they were trying to go for, having Spider-Man act as a pendulum, but it just doesn't work for me. This was also the first game where your webs actually stuck to something rather than relying on Uncle Ben to hold you up. You could definitely do some pretty cool things, and they even added in a trick system, which is always appreciated, but I found it to be more of a burden than anything. The way that the camera is so far away and how all the buildings just blend in with the environment just to make it a pain to swing in. Like, I have no idea where Spider-Man is. He's so puny. It's easy to learn, but a b to master. But it did set the standard, and I gotta respect that. I always compare Sam Raimi's Spider-Man to the Beatles. I don't enjoy it by today's standards, but there is no denying the impact that it made on the industry. I can't wait to see these comments. But yeah, overall, the swinging is amazing.
This was probably my favorite game as a kid because Ultimate Spider-Man was my favorite comic line as a kid. I'm pretty sure I've read every single issue from this line. Like when it was Peter Parker. After Miles, I kind of like lost track, but I've read a ton of it. So being able to play in this sandbox was a dream. This takes the swinging from Spider-Man 2, but just tightens up the screws a bit more. They also make it so you can climb up your own webs and gain more altitude. They also allow you to play as Venom, and while you can't web swing, they still make it fun to play with. Ultimate Spider-Man aged like a fine wine. You have so much control over everything. And they also have tricks here, fret not. I love just popping this game in and swinging across NYC and Queens when I was younger. I gotta do it for namesake also, this is going in the ultimate tier. So there's a few versions of Spider-Man 3, but the main two I'm focusing on is for the 360 PS3 and the Wii PS2. The 360 PS3 one is fun and you could go damn fast, but I just don't like how small Spider-Man is. Was there a trick system in this game? I don't really remember. The PS2 Wii version is a bit more stripped down, but on the Wii you actually swing the Wii mode, so it brings that level of immersion that's always appreciated. Oh, and you can hear the web swinging from the Wii mode, so that gives it a plus. This is a lot of people's favorite Spider-Man game, and for good reason. Great story and characters, fun gameplay that's in a league of its own, and of course the web swinging. You could do some gnarly sh** here in Web of Shadows. The way he moves, you don't even need a trick system. They replace it with combat web swinging instead, and that hasn't been done yet either. Please add this into Spider-Man 2, I'm begging you, Insomniac. You're also incentivized to swing by collecting spider tokens that make you faster, and they're all over the city. Some are pretty tricky to find, and others are almost too damn easy, but when you get them into set with one another, it's like a drug. There's gotta be like an anti-drug PSA for spider tokens. I wish you didn't collect spider tokens. You're not the same when you collect. And I miss my friend. It's a blast to just mess around here with the web swinging and traversal. Maybe knock over a car into a pedestrian. This beats out Ultimate Spider-Man easy. What happens after we die? In my case, you're about to find out. So these are two of my favorite Spidey games. And we were this close to getting a remaster before Insomniac released their Spider-Man. We were robbed of greatness! I'm grouping them up because it's essentially the same web swinging. These games kind of took a few steps back. While they're great games, you're not playing this for the web swinging. These are more akin to the PS1 and N64 titles. It's very restrictive. The only times you feel like you get a real sandbox is the ultimate Spider-Man's Deadpool level, where you could swing literally anywhere. And in Edge of Time, you're just in a building for the whole game. So that restrict basically turn into being under house arrest. They did add in this one move where it just web zips you up and I always like to messing with that. And these are also like crazy expensive online so if you find one of these games for a good price I gotta recommend playing these. It's really simple swinging just going back to basics. It ain't that good but it's still pretty good. It's like a nice borderline there. What is more pure <laughs> than good against evil? Wakey wakey spider-man. The hype for the Amazing Spider-Man game was real. That first trailer made me swoon like a 13 year old had never swooned before. Even watching the trailers today, I get so hyped. We hadn't had an open world Spider-Man game in like four years, so this was something to be really excited about. They marketed the fact that New York is your sandbox, your playground. I'll never forget the interview. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man the game, it doesn't suck. Beanox was pumped to release this, and you could tell in every trailer, every screenshot, every interview that they were in, they showed that they were just as excited as we were. They fixed my major problem with Spider-Man 2 with the speed and momentum and size. Good gravy, Spidey is huge here. This was purely intentional as they wanted you to feel like Spider-Man, so they put him front and center, and I love this. While they don't have that trick system anymore, Spider-Man in the air still pulls off a few flips and tricks that are also in the movie. The thing I don't like is how when he web swings, he's primarily doing it from his right hand. I just got so distracted by this the whole time. And there are so many comic pages to collect here and it makes you want to explore New York more. There's also this thing that they added wind web swinging. It's not a big deal, but hearing him heave and gasp makes it a lot more three dimensional. They also do a different web swinging with the indoor missions where it's a lot more basic and this was much needed. Now you're not soaring across the room completely by accident. Oh my God, how did I forget the web rush? I spoke about this in my amazing Spider-Man 2 retrospective, but basically you're in a first person perspective and you could see vantage points to swing to and they give you such a sleek animation. I 
heard people say that it takes control away from you. And yeah, it kind of does, but I don't mind it here. The biggest gripe though that people have is how you swing on invisible points. And yes, while a valid criticism, you're not going to really notice it with Spider-Man being so close to the camera. I don't know why, but I always thought it was funny how the movie that started the realistic web swinging gave us a game with unrealistic web swinging. Plus, you could swing as Stan Lee. They earned brownie points for that. Ultimate, just slightly above Web of Shadows. Have you done your best to stop him? To bring this murderer to justice? The web swinging in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is very similar to The Amazing Spider-Man 1, but the biggest changes for the swinging are the webs actually stick to buildings, and you use the left trigger for the left hand and the right trigger for the right hand. What really sucked was them dumbing down the web rush. This was a mechanic I grew to absolutely love, and they make the swinging a bit less fluid. You'll be fighting the geometry every now and then, but once you get into the flow of it, it's easy to stick to it. It's easy to gain altitude, just not speed. The comics that incentivize traversal are back, but they don't have nearly as much. The best addition to the web rush is basically a roll. If you have the analog stick going forward, you'll keep your momentum, so it's pretty good. I have to rank it a low amazing because they added a cool mechanic that was so obvious, and it's something that hasn't really been replicated yet. So the amazing Spider-Man iOS games kind of blew my high school brain away. Being able to whip out my phone and web swing was crazy. It just bummed me out we couldn't get this on like the 3DS or the PlayStation Vita. Webs aren't sticking to buildings, but it looks cool that they're prioritizing speed and momentum the most. So if you hit the ground mid-swing, Spider-Man will just walk it and I really like that. It's fun and you gotta take into consideration this was the first time we had a free roam Spider-Man game on a mobile platform. It's pretty cool. There comes a time when the amazing, the mighty, and the uncanny must come together as one. I'm grouping these up because the differences are so small and they're basically the same thing. It looks very similar to the swinging that we got in Spider-Man 2002, but there's far more animations that look like Spider-Man's just bragging. Look at me, I'm Spider-Man, I could swing and you can't. The biggest difference is that in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, you can launch yourself up, but for the most part, it's one to one the exact same thing. I actually like the swinging in the LEGO games far more than I like flying. I find it kind of calming and also interesting when you could get these cool animations when you're making all kinds of turns. It's pretty good. How come we can never meet under friendlier circumstances? Like at the library or a deli? So this is kind of getting popular again. Disney's Toy to Life game came and went the way Spider-Man comes and goes when he's swinging through the sky. This was a really simple kind of swinging. It's basically the same thing as the amazing Spider-Man iOS games. So don't be looking for anything that's going to be reinventing the wheel. It's like a bottom good tier. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. No pressure, right? Ah, yes! We made it! I love the web swinging here. And just a small confession, I didn't at first. I didn't think it was fast enough. It felt clunky, and I never felt like I was high in the air. Then I started playing it. And after two months, that's when I found out the fast travel mechanic was in here. I play this game now just to web swing. I don't even really do it for crimes. Well, I still do that. But the main focus here is to swing. And I'll do it for like just five minutes, and I'll get the feel that I need. I didn't even really do tricks much until Miles Morales came out. Miles Morales, I think, has slightly better web swinging, though. It's easier to do tricks, it looks cooler, and it overall runs slightly better. Whichever one you play, here you are going to love they control perfectly spider-man isn't too close or too far from the camera and it's the best we got it's another standard setter ultimate i hope you're not afraid of heights yeah! Yeah! oh yeah i'm going there when my girlfriend got a vr headset the first thing i did was look up if there was a spider-man game lo and behold there is you might like mcu spider-man you might despise mcu spider-man no matter what your stance is, you gotta admit that this is a pretty fun web swinging game. The controllers are your hands, literally. And you can build momentum, speed, and height so quick, and it's so much fun to do this! There's no trick system here, but you don't need one. Yeah, the visuals aren't anything to write home about, but who cares about the visuals when you can look through the eyes of Spider-Man? There's no campaign, but who needs a campaign when you could do all of this? It's probably the simplest, most bare bones, and it makes all the difference the fact that it is in VR. If you have a fear of heights, you might get 
get like a little bit scared, but there's no fall damage, so you're good. Just don't hit your TV. Oh, oh, he did. Oh! This swing in here is worthy of the top of the list. Yes, the top. It beat out Insomniac Spider-Man. It is that good. Let's see. A dozen of them. One of me. Someone there? Just another day being Spider-Man. Uh, so we made it here. People really thought that this was gonna be the best web swinging, and boy, were they wrong. Spider-Man swings like he's gotta take a poo. Spider-Man swings like the dad that would've gone to the NFL if it weren't for his bum knee. Spider-Man swings like not good at all. People got pissed when they found out that the webs don't stick to buildings, and that's just dumb. So many levels are just vast open nothingness. They needed to work past it somehow. I think a bit more time in the oven is what this Spider-Man needed. The swinging is so heavy and the animations look unfinished. The web zipping isn't fast and doesn't feel tight. And after five minutes of playing, you don't really want to go back. I only want to go back to see the updates and to dick around just because I love web swinging, no matter how good or how bad it is. But yeah, it ain't that good here. It's like a low, it ain't that good. I wouldn't call it entirely bad. Check out the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass that features Spider-Man, the Foundation, and more newcomers. So what are you waiting for? Drop into Chapter 3 and start exploring the new island. This was one of the biggest surprises of 2021. Spider-Man and Fortnite. Also, the first time I ever bought a Battle Pass. That was 10 bucks that went nowhere. I thought I had to buy the Mythic and I did it. I'm not getting that money back. I re-downloaded Fortnite just to play this and I am so happy I did. This is genuinely fantastic. I love how you have to target where you want to swing from and that there's a reload for the web shooters. And then you can slip to the back of a car and ride off of it. Insomniac. Get on it, you're embarrassing yourselves. Add these mechanics in the sequel, please. I don't play Fortnite, so excuse my not knowing what the map is called, but the world of Fortnite is incredibly fun to swing around. You can go pretty damn fast and do things that haven't been done in any Spider-Man game or Marvel game for that matter. The web shooter mythic is really fun and even if you despise Fortnite, I gotta recommend downloading it just for this alone. And like, it's free. You got nothing to lose. All right, dudes and dudettes, that is the tier list. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click that like and subscribe button. And let me know down in the comment section below what web swinging is your favorite. And if you want to look at this same tier list that I made, yes, I made it. I have a link to the tier list in the description below and in the top pinned comment. Anyway, dudes and dudettes, you're never too old or too cool for video games. Major Pineapple out.